Hey, everyone. Welcome to another brand new episode of Lifestyle Today. I'm your host, Justine Santanello. We have a super exciting show for you guys today filled with a bunch of in-studio guests, Valentine's Day prep, some last-minute big game essentials, and last but certainly not least, our furry friends from the Puppy Bowl are back. I'm so excited. Now, in addition to being adorable, did you guys know that the Puppy Bowl is the original longest-running call-to-adoption television event? Our friend and referee, Dan Schachner, is back with us today to tell us more. Welcome, Dan. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to be back. So what can you tell us about Puppy Bowl 20? What can't I tell you? It is the most, like the puppiest puppy bowl ever. Um, We have 131 dogs participating this year. It's our most ever, 73 shelters. Um, When I started in Puppy Bowl 8, that's 12, 13 years ago, we only had 59 dogs. We've obviously doubled that amount. Um, Dogs are doing everything this year. For Puppy Bowl fans out there who recall some history, some archival history, we used to have chicken cheerleaders, we had pig cheerleaders, um, we had human coaches. Those are all gone now. They've all been replaced by dogs. It's great. We have dog coaches. I have a doggy assistant ref. We have dogs working the cameras, dogs in the control room, dogs on the sidelines, dog paparazzi, dogs as cheerleaders. The list goes on and on. And the goal here, of course, is to showcase as many different adoptable dogs as possible with the hope of getting them a forever home. So we are lucky enough to have Francine coming in to visit later today. What can you tell us about her? Oh, you got Francine. She's a tough booking. Wow. Her schedule has really filled up. Um, She's got a little bit of a rep now. So A, you're lucky to have her, but B, prepare yourself. I hope your green room is is well padded. She's a bruiser, Justine. um, She's got an independent streak. That's a nice way of putting it. I tried to flag her a few times for insubordination for frolicking, for bathing in the water bowl. But at the end of the day, she looked at me with those puppy dog eyes and it was just, all right, excessive cuteness. That's the worst penalty I could give you. And I let her do her thing. She is a standout player. She uh, she doesn't listen to anybody except herself, but she is going to turn some heads at puppy bowl and she's going to she's gonna score. So look out for her. So why do you think that puppy bowl's message of adoption is so important? Every year, more and more dogs uh, in shelters sit there unadopted. And it's a very, very simple statistic. Um, About half, you know, don't find a forever home. And after a year or so in a shelter, you know, they can meet a pretty sad fate. So we all know what happens there. And the sad part is people are still out there buying dogs and going on, you know, online to look for a dog and pay thousands upon thousands of dollars for dogs that have not been vetted. So the message that we're, while all these dogs that I mentioned are sitting there in the shelter looking for a forever home, that's the prior message there. There are literally tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands every year, but tens of thousands from month to month, dogs and cats in shelters looking for a home. When you watch Puppy Bowl, if you fall in love with a dog, we can immediately point you to that dog's rescue. You go to puppybull.com slash adopt and you'll find your dog. You connect with that shelter. If that dog that you've already fallen in love with on Puppy Bull is adopted, because again, a national TV show watched by millions, even 131 puppies can find forever homes quickly. But chances are that dog has got siblings, comes from a litter, right? Has a mom, has a dad that's also in a shelter and needs help. Or the shelter knows of similar dogs that are that are available for you in your area. Um, it's all about connecting with your shelters, hopefully your local shelters, but if not, you can expand your reach and you know, getting the message out to the people that realize you should adopt, not shop. Not yes, of course you're saving a life, but um more even more than saving a life, you're you're changing the mindset of people who think that you need to buy a dog. Um, And that's hopefully the message we're getting out there too. Ah, Dan, thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thank you so much for having us. Check us out on uh, February 11th, 2 p.m. Eastern. All right, you guys. Now, make sure that you stick around because later in the show, we're going to be meeting some of the amazing and also adoptable puppies. Yay.